guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing two different looks with the Morphe 35L palette. Hence why it says two looks, one palette because that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to show you this natural makeup look and then a glam makeup look later in this video. So stay tuned. Let me know if you like this video with a thumbs up. Let's just jump right into it. So we're going to be doing the more natural look right now with the Morphe 35O palettes, which you already know that I'm using that. So we're just going to jump right into this by priming our eyelids. So I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the original formula shade. I don't know. And I'm just going to apply this directly to my eyelids and then I'm going to rub it in with my finger. So first things first, I'm going to set down that base with this white shade. I'm going to be using this angled shadow brush too and just patting that all over. So now I'm going to be using this brown shade and I'm going to do the exact same thing with the exact same brush just all over my lid just like that. So next I'm going to be using this brown shade here which is a little bit deeper, a little bit redder, and we're gonna use the Morphe M441 brush, which is my favorite crease brush and highlight brush. So we're gonna be using that, and we're just gonna do the windshield wiper motions back and forth in our crease. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna be using this red, brown, brick shade just on the outer corner of our eye. So we'll go a little bit into the crease, but not really, just packing the color in right on the outer part. And we're gonna use this dome little shader brush to do so. So the last thing that we're gonna do for our eyes on just our lid, obviously we are in the lower lash line, but the last thing for our eyes is we're going to be using this shade right here, which is a gold shade but has a little bit of a pink to it, which I kind of want since I'm wearing red today. So we're going to use this shade right here. We're going to use this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and we're just going to spritz it and we're going to place it all over our lid, mostly focusing on the inner two thirds, but not really the outer third where we put the darker shadow. So now just to blend out those edges, we're going to go back in with this shade right here and just blend out the edges where we applied the dark shadow versus the shimmery shade. And I'm just going to sweep over quickly, not putting any shadow on my brush in the crease, just to blend that edge as well. So now I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So now that my makeup's done, we're going to use this shade right here, the one that we used in our crease, just on our lower lash line. By the way, the brush that I used to do that is the Morphe M408 one. Okay, so the last shadow that we're going to use is this shadow right here as our inner corner highlight. We're going to use that with the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. So now we're going to put on mascara. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Then I'm going to use the NYX Worth the Hype mascara on my lower lashes. And I'm going to use the Lancome Montier Big Mascara on my upper lashes. Because this is running out so it doesn't have as much formula I guess to make my upper lashes look good so I've been using both of them so that is the end of our natural makeup look with the Morphe 35 ohm palette and now we're gonna head off to the glam makeup look so today I'm going to be doing the glam makeup look with the Morphe 35O palette and I'm going to be doing a halo eye so I just wanted to show you how I do that and just what that's going to look like. So we are first going to prime our lids, ignore my unpainted nails. I'm kind of running out of this stuff so that's sad but luckily I got a NARS eyeshadow primer 
that I can use right after I use up this one. I don't know if it's good or not. I've only used it once. I feel like eyeshadow primers are not really hard to make. Like, how can you make a bad eyeshadow primer? I've never heard of a bad one. You just need to keep eyeshadow on all day. You know? So, first things first, we are going to start with this white shade and just set down that eyeshadow primer and just get rid of the veins in our eyes. I'm just going to be taking a regular angled brush just like this. It's a little bit angled right there. So, I'm going to be using that to set down my base. Okay, so now that my base is set, I'm going to be using this just brown neutral shade and I'm going to put that all over my lid as well with the same brush. Next I'm going to be using this deeper brown shade so I'm just going to be using that with the Morphe M441 brush. This actually is known to be a great highlighter brush but I have two, one for a highlighter and one to do my crease because I really like this in the crease. So I'm just going to be using that and just swiping back and forth in the crease only. I'm also going to start bringing this shade a little bit into my inner corner area just to start that halo eye that we're going for today. Next I'm going to be using this red brick shade and I'm just going to be doing the exact same thing that I did before just putting it in the crease but really bringing it in to that inner corner area. So now I'm going to be using this center shade right here. It's just the probably one of the deepest browns that we're going to use and it also has a red tint to it. So I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to start being way more precise with my crease and just making it not look as messy. So I lied earlier, we're actually going to be using this brown shade right here and we're going to be not focusing it so much in the crease but more on the two outer parts of our halo eyes. So not so much the windshield wiper motions but mostly just packing in the color on the outer V and this inner V right here. I'm going to be using this little dome shader brush, a fluffy eyeshadow brush, whatever you want to call it. So now we're going to be using a little bit of concealer. I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. The shade that I have, in case you're wondering, is light. And I'm going to be using this Morphe M124 brush, which is just this little flat and I don't know what else to describe it with brush. And we're just going to be marking out that halo a little bit just to make it pop. So since this is a glam look today, that's what we want. So we're going to use this concealer to do that. This part can be as messy as you want. This concealer step doesn't have to be as precise as normal cut creases have to be because you're going to be just using shadow to blend those edges together. So it doesn't really matter if it doesn't look as precise as you want it to be. Just we're kind of just going to mark out this halo eye here. So now we're going to be using this red shimmery shade just all over the part where we place concealer. I'm going to use the same brush just on the other side that doesn't have concealer on it. I'm also going to spray this brush just because using shadows wet make some pop more so I've just been using my setting spray it's the NYX matte finish Finny matte setting spray um, and I'm just gonna use this and I'm just gonna spritz it and we're gonna put it all over the place where we put concealer so because that turned out a little bit more pink than I intended and I do want it to be a little bit silvery and shiny. I'm going to use this shade right here, which is a 
pink, red, champagne kind of shimmery shade. So we're going to use the same brush and we're just going to place that more on the center of the lid where we put the concealer and the red shimmery shade. I'm also going to spray this one too. liking this a lot better so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that dome shader brush and we're gonna use that same dark brown that we used earlier on the outer V and the inner V and we're just gonna blend out those edges also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the crease brush that I did earlier and just use the red brown shade that we were using earlier and just go over the crease one more time. I really like how this eye look came out. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup, just my face and everything. Then we're gonna come back and do our lower lash line and mascara. So now that I have my makeup on, I'm just gonna be doing the lower lash line. I'm going to be using the Morphe M408, and I'm just going to be using this shade right here, the red-brown that I was talking about, just on my lower lash line, and that's all I'm going to put there. Fun fact, I actually hate when people copy their halo eye on their lower lash line. I think it looks so stupid, so I never do that because I hate how it looks. So the last eyeshadow that I'm going to use is going to be that shimmery red pink shade. We're just going to use that as our inner corner highlight. Last but not least, I'm going to put on mascara. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, which was in my favorites video. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and apply that mascara. And that, guys, is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to do any more videos with any other palettes that I have. I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I have the Stila one. I have the Mar palette from ColourPop. The Dream Street palette from ColourPop. Just any palette that you want to see. I would love to do it for you. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed these looks. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. And let me know any other video requests that you have in the comment section below. Bye guys! So let me get my mirror, which is super freaking dirty, oh no. A regular little angled black. So now we're gonna be to use, I would, so I'm gonna be using the, <laughs> so now I'm gonna be using this brown shade, use,